Okay, next we're going to take a look at how do you update your programs on Windows 8, uh, Phone 8. Okay, so let's go into the menu. And if you scroll down, you'll find it or wherever you have it at, you'll see the store icon here, the shopping bag. Same one that's on Windows 8 for on a PC. You see there's three indications there, three programs that are ready to update. That's what it stands for. It'll be blank if you have none. So Windows goes out there and checks to see if there's any updates. So let's go ahead and click on that. It automatically goes out there and says, oh, here's the different things you can look for. You can search within the store for that. By the way, you can move over here and there's featured stuff and things like that, different apps and everything, other games and all that stuff. So if you want to investigate store, uh, take a look at that kind of stuff. But then you'll see this says three updates. And you click here and you'll see that there's three different updates here that are available. Now, you always you don't necessarily want to, if you already trust the application, you can just hit update all down here and it'll update all the different applications uh, together. But you can go into each one, for example, Backup Assistant Plus tells you exactly what it is. It's a free blah, 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 and all that. And then you can get all the information you need to know about that particular program. Uh, if we go into Nokia Maps, for example, it talks about that. And if you're worried about security and all that things, you can select these individually, press the Update button, and do that. Uh, so, but we're going to go ahead and hit Update All. Now you'll see here, now, it's going to, Nokia Maps requires access to location, so it's going to, I have to say OK. And here we go now, it's downloading. And you'll see a very nice interface here, so it shows you each one in turn as it downloads. So we're going to go ahead and watch this. It should be pretty quick. I don't know if I have Wi-Fi turned on or not. But what you want to do on this kind of thing, because some applications are big, and if you're on a data plan, you want to make sure that you have data. Now, uh, in an earlier video, we, we showed how you can do that. See that Wi-Fi setting? That means I do have my Wi-Fi on, and all this should be going through my Wi-Fi connection and not through my phone connection. So these are downloading not only they're fast, but they're not costing me any money in data charges. So uh, we're installing Nokia Maps now. It went to installing status instead of downloading. You see the extras and infos. It's pending. And so as this completes, it'll go to... And now it's downloading the extras and infos. And I'll just click there to keep the brightness of the screen. It's installing it. And by the way, if you buy stuff, it'll always it'll also access. These are all the built-in applications here. But if you buy applications, that's how you get your updates for them as well. And now it's installing the extras and info. Install them all. Yep, no downloads in progress. So if we go back, hit the back app updates, there are none listed. All right, so we get we'll get out we can go keep backing up, but we can also hit the home key. And you notice that there's no more indication on your shopping cart that you have any updates because you're up to date. Uh, very nice interface, very nice to do. So that's updating your applications in Windows Phone 8.